Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of the Star City Culture Committee. My name is Mark Champion. I'm the senior culture editor at the Daily Nebraskan, and I'm joined by Dave and Jenna. Dave. Uh, hello, my name is David Berman. Um, I am the assist, one of the assistant culture editors at the Daily Nebraskan. And I am Jenna Thompson, and I am also an assistant culture editor. Today, we are joined by Latura Adigma. Uh, she is the founder of the Art Bus, um, which is a new uh, attraction in Lincoln, where she will be driving uh, in a bus that she uh, bought and kind of refurbished around Lincoln and she will be offering free art classes, art classes to uh, Lincoln kids. Um, did you guys enjoy art class as a kid? Personally, I kind of hated it. I was, but that's really just because I was really bad at art. And um, one time my, I presented my art to my art teacher and she was just like, let me show you how you should really do it. So I was just kind of scarred from a very young age. Uh, but but what, what about your guys' experience with art? Art was the best for us because it, it was on Wednesdays and we got out at two o'clock on Wednesdays for some reason, which was earlier than normal. So on Wednesdays, we just did art and then we got out early and it was amazing. I, I loved every second of it. <laughs> nice. What about you? <laughs> I loved art. I still love art a lot. I took it, I mean, you have to to take it in elementary school but then I just liked it so much I took it for every single elective in high school so yeah nice well it seems like I'm the only one here who hated our class so I look like <laughs> well but thankfully today we are joined by someone who will enlighten us enlighten me about the uh important uh teaching qualities of arts uh and so yeah without further ado uh let's let's get into our talk with Latura all right, so we, we are here with Latura Adigama. Um, thank you so much for, jo uh, for joining us today. Um, how are you doing today? I am doing pretty good. Um, it's been a long day, but uh, it went well. I'm doing good. Sweet, awesome. Um, so I think if you just want to start off by giving us a little bit of your background and kind of, you know, brief look at your life kind of leading up to the art bus. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I was born in uh, Nigeria, moved to Lincoln when I was two with my family, um, and I have been here ever since. Um, I graduated from Lincoln Southwest in 2014, um, went on to study criminal justice at UNL, um, and after a couple semesters, I decided, you know, to try something different. Um, I took a couple art classes, photo classes, um, and fell in love. Um, so I decided to drop out of school, um, just to kind of figure myself out and what I'm really wanting to, or what I was really wanting to do, um, um, in life. Um, and in the midst of that, I got a job at Lincoln High. Uh, I worked with behavior and special needs students for about two years. Um, and I ran a couple art programs, um, uh, within, uh, the LPS district, uh, primarily at Lincoln High. Um, and during that time, I kind of talked to students about what they were hoping to see in their community. And a lot of students uh, mentioned access to art, uh, free access to art. And that's kind of how Art Bus LNK grew. Um, I started fundraising for the bus uh, in 2018, spring of 2018. Uh, I was able to fundraise about $2,000 to buy the bus. Um, I had purchased the bus uh, October of last year, and here we are, yeah. Awesome, and so you're also a wedding photographer? Yep, I focus, um, I do a couple other things, but I focus more on weddings. Nice, how did you kind of land on that as something that you wanted to do? Oh, it was random. Uh, I mean, when I started my photo journey, I did a little bit of everything. Um, and I had a friend reach out, uh, a friend reached out to me about helping her with a wedding and, um, it just kind of, it grew from there. Sweet. Awesome. So I think you mentioned this, uh, on Friday, but Friday was the first time there were kids on the bus. Is that right? Mm -hmm. How did that go? It went really well. Um, and kids are honest. So I <laughs> definitely got some feedback on how I should, um, how we should go about things um, but it was really good they had uh, a whole lot of fun they created a lot of cool things nice 
Um, what kind of opportunities are there on the art books? So as of now, um, we are sticking to um, like painting, drawing, uh, jewelry making, um, just to kind of get through this whole um, COVID thing. Um, trying to enforce social distancing in a way um, so kids are able to work on projects by themselves. Um, but we are looking to expand into like ph photography and a lot of DIY, uh, different things for next year. Um, more projects geared towards kids in like eighth grade to high school age. Mm -hmm. um, but right now it's more so for like elementary age students, um, just to keep them busy during the summer. Nice. What kind of feedback did they give you? Um, <laughs> well, I had a couple of kids say, um, so the inside of the bus is almost like all white and kids are saying like, you know, this shouldn't be white. We're messy. Um, you should let us paint the tables. You shouldn't do this. It's kind of hot in here. You should work on the air conditioning. Just a lot of like a lot of unnecessary things, but right. uh, they gave some pretty good feedback. Yeah, that's cool. Um, how did you go about like uh, converting the inside of the bus into an art studio? Do you have construction so, experience? Um, so the bus I found, uh, I found it on Facebook. Uh, the guy I Facebook Marketplace. Um, the guy I bought it from, he was planning on converting it into a mobile uh, art, not a mobile art studio, uh, <laughs> into a party bus. Um, so he took the seats out and cleaned it up um, and put some wood floors in. So all I really had to do was paint the inside, paint the outside, uh, hmm. put in some tables, and just clean up a whole bunch of stuff. But um, I was lucky enough to get a bus that ha um, already had the seats taken out, um, so I didn't have to do a whole lot of hard work on it. Yeah, that's cool. A, a stroke of fortune, I guess. Right. Uh, so how did your work at Lincoln High inspire the art bus, and how do you hope to reach those students that you work with? Yeah, so Lincoln High, um, the most of the kids that go there are um, low-income students or they're in um, low-income neighborhoods. Um, so Lincoln High, they, there's a lot of different programming for students um, within that school. Um, so like I said, I did a couple art um, after-school art programs for the students. Um, and they mentioned that um, they were looking for different programmings during the summer, um, free programming, um, free art programs. Um, for over the summer and yeah i don't know how to answer your question but. no you're good i i realized <laughs> after i said that that you kind of already touched on that earlier but oh, you're good. um yeah that's it's just so cool that uh there's such a nice story arc there <laughs> yeah so this is a little off topic but are you gonna going to be driving the bus yourself from place to place yeah nice yep, i am um, um, the goal is to hit different neighborhoods in Lincoln. I wasn't wanting to stick to like one spot. Um, so a couple days out of each week will be in like North Lincoln, South Lincoln, Central, West, and so on. But I will be driving the bus and parking it um, at different um, businesses or wherever we connect with. Sweet. Uh, I'm just kind of curious. It uh, did you have any experience driving a bus before? Did you need like no. you need a special license for that? I don't even know how any of that works. But. No, so um, if the seats are taken out of the bus, I don't have to have um, a license for that. Uh, and the first time I drove the bus or drove a bus was off the lot. So that was definitely a scary thing, but <laughs> I made it in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> How will people know it's coming? Are you just going to put something on Facebook or is it going to be kind of a surprise thing? So um, we officially launched yesterday and we put up a whole lot of um, information on our Facebook page, um, Instagram, our website. So people do know that we'll be starting uh, the 6th of July. So once we figure out when we want to be at, um, or the dates for each location. We'll share that uh, on our social media. That's so cool. 
Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think obviously everything's been kind of impacted by COVID-19. Um, and so I, I know you would kind of plan to be start this a little bit earlier than you had. So, so if you could just kind of talk about how COVID has affected your plans. Yeah. So, um, we were planning on launching, um, April. I planned a huge party with a DJ, um, and giveaways and whatnot. Um, but I mean, with the whole social distancing, um, it didn't make sense and it was risky to continue on with a party. So um, I just kind of let the project uh, kind of die down just, uh, just for a little bit while I figured out how to go about starting this summer. Um, for a while, I was just planning to start next summer, but um, we're just planning, we're planning to limit the amount of kids that are inside the bus um, and we're sticking to eight to 10 kids at a time. Um, so, I mean, after each session, we'll be wiping down the entire bus um, and whatnot. But I mean, they're really what we, the only difference um, between um, before COVID and now is, I mean, we pushed back um, the launch date um, and we're just planning on going about things in a different way than uh, initially planned. When is the launch date, the new launch date now? Um, so we, we did like a little online Facebook launch yesterday, but uh, we'll be uh, driving around July 6th. Very fun. Awesome. Are you still gonna do the giveaway, DJ, all that stuff, just socially distant? No. No. <laughs> no. Um, I'm hoping to, maybe towards uh, the end of August plan um, some sort of event. I've been um, communicating with Gateway Mall. So we're planning on maybe doing some sort of back to school bash um, and collabor collaborating with Gateway Mall um, um, in that way. But what would you say is the main goal of the art bus? Um, so I would, I mean, the main goal is to provide kids in Lincoln um, access to free art. Um, I'm not wanting to target a specific location. Um, I'm not trying to stereotype like different places in Lincoln, like, oh, well, this is considered the low income neighborhood. Um, so we're going to stay here. Because uh, you just, you never know. Um, people in South Lincoln, they could be going through financial situations where they're not able to provide their kids with whatever they're wanting or um, art opportunities. So, I mean, overall the goal is just to provide all students, um, regardless of whatever, um, an opportunity to create art. Why do you feel um, the arts are so important for kids to have access to? I feel, I mean, art is definitely a healing tool. Um, it allows for you to express yourself um, in a way that doesn't have to be vocal. Um, so, I mean, it, it heals, so. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible with interviews. <laughs> no, you are doing, you are doing fantastic. Okay. I, I have kind of a random question circling back yeah. around, but, uh, how did you get the idea for the art bus initially? Like, how did you decide to get a bus? For this? So when, um, when, uh, when the students first mentioned like um, access to art, I was looking into collaborating with different businesses in different parts of the city, but it got, it was very overwhelming trying to figure out like uh, who to connect with. So I figured, you know, why not just put everything in one, uh, place and make it mobile um so it's easier but mm -hmm. nice nice so these classes are completely free yep everything is completely free yeah yeah that's so cool how are you paying for that then are there like donors involved so um it's i mean a lot of um community or people uh, in my community, they donated funds through GoFundMe. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, after we launched yesterday, we ended up raising 
1524 hours so pretty much the project is completely paid for for the next couple of years honestly wow. uh, so yeah that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> A lot of money in just 24 hours yeah yeah i definitely was shocked <laughs> is it uh, gonna play like a jingle when it goes through the neighborhood like an ice cream truck <laughs> no <laughs> not um but we have there's a really good um sound system in the bus so and they have strobe lights um but no jingle <laughs> no <laughs> Thought I should ask. Um, yeah, so just to wrap up, um, you know, over the next few years, what do you hope the art bus will bring to the Lincoln community? Um, I am hoping that it just makes people want to come together. Um, I'm hoping people start viewing art um, as more of a healing tool. Um, I mean, people definitely think of art as just like a hobby and whatnot. I want to show kids that you can make um a career out of art, um, but I am just hoping to expand um, over the next couple of years into uh, smaller cities within Nebraska. Um, just overall, just giving all students access um, and opportunities to express themselves um, and just learn and heal through art. Awesome. Cool. Uh, well, Latura, I think that's all we need. Um, thank you so much again for joining us on the second ever episode of the Star City Culture Committee. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, good luck with your with your new endeavor and uh, have a great rest of your night. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See, Dave, art is important. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, you know, I... That thanks to Latura, I learned a ton about arts and a ton about the art bus, which sounds like it's going to bring great things to the Lincoln community. Yeah, so thanks to Latura for uh, being on the second episode of the Star City Culture Committee. Uh, my name is David Berman, and as always, I am joined by my co-hosts. Jenna Thompson. Mark Champion. Sweet. Well, till next time, see you around Star City. Bye.